Hello everyone, welcome again to another edition. This one is part four of our Let's Play, Endless Space. Uh, in our last video, we were building up a military fleet in order to eradicate some pirates. We had discovered all the other factions in the galaxy, and we were trying not to get killed. Uh, we had lost a scout over here because he couldn't retreat, and fun stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and review what we are currently researching. Right now we are researching Baryonic Shielding in order to get the cruiser ship class, which will help us out. Uh, I am kind of leaning more toward a militaristic type of uh, faction here, but we'll see how things go. I re would really like to eradicate these pirates. And we have a repair ship that is heading... Uh, here to Gaikon, and he's going to help uh, increase er, repair all these ships here. In fact, uh, it's a little bit better. Um, it's getting there. Let's see. We have a new ship that was just completed in our hangar. We have a missile attack, another missile attack. So we'll create a fleet for it and send it up to our main force. This is really the choke point of our constellation. You can see. We were lucky enough to start in a constellation that has only one way in and one way out. So we can use that to our advantage and kind of build up all our defensive for, uh, forces here. Although there are a lot of links. There's, what is that, five? Wow, there's six links. Uh, well, five external and one to our constellation here. So this it might actually be better if we were at war to kind of, if we were going to defend, we would want to defend the Treem system here. But for now, we're just going to send our, our military up there. And let me go ahead and... Hmm, it left, lets us attack enemy fleets. We are... Oh, that is the... That, that fleet belongs to the green pilgrims. All the uh, factions are pilgrims, which is a little strange. And I am the United Empire. Um, Way is getting unhappy again. I might need to tone down... Yeah, let's tone down our taxes little bit Let's see what we, we were at plus 49 per turn let's go with let's go with 25 for now that looks good okay so let's merge let's go into this missile attack repair two missiles we want all these and we actually want to retrofit this sh this missile attack ship because we upgraded it in our last video. So we have a repair ship as well, and we have two missile attack guys. So we're going to merge these fleets to create our attack fleet, which has a commander in it. And I think our commander also leveled up last turn. And there actually is another missile attack ship in there as well. So we have a fairly substantial ship, uh, or fleet built up here. We have four missile attack ships with our number two design. And we'll take a look at that. We have seven unstable torpedoes and seven uh, high isotope plating, which should serve well against the types of enemies we're going to run into now, which are high kinetic, high kinetic uh, enemies, both in attack and defense. And we also have our defender ship which we might want to just go ahead and disband so we don't have to pay him per turn but I'll keep him around for now as a pseudo scout okay so I think I'm building one more okay I do have another repair ship so I'm gonna create a fleet with him send him up to join our main forces that'll help out with repairs and now I have some choosing to do let's see what can we do I like our the size of our we could go with one more missile attack ship. We also might want to... We need um, Hyperium in order to build laser uh, laser attack modules. And I know that... F let's see what... If uh, any of our friends have what we need. Oh, that's me. I think this guy had Hyperion, but yeah, he doesn't have enough. So 
so we'll not go with lasers. I really would just like to stick with... Uh, well, let me see if... I'm going to create a new ship design. Um, actually, I'm going to hold off until we get our cruiser class. And then I might make a cruiser that's pure kinetic. Um, or maybe a mix. Um, I don't want to just kind of... I want to balance maybe a couple couple that are pure, a couple that are balanced, something like that. Um, but we're at peace with the purples, and we're at peace with the oranges, and we're cold war with the greens, so we'll just keep an eye on that. So a trim. let's see, and are there any, I don't really want to do expansion right now, unless it's absolutely, absolutely needed. What I will do, however, is trim is now a colony, it's no longer a outpost so I'm going to build that satellite to increase its uh, radius of influence and I'm going to also do that here and on way what can we do on way I don't I could do hardened framing if I really need to um, let's see because hardened uh, framing is plus six ship XP but we're really not going to be building a lot of ships over here because it's so far away um, I think I might just go with Xeno Tours to start to curb some of our uh, tax rate, or, you know, plus dust, so that we're, when we, because we're going to have to be uh, sliding that tax slider pretty heavily. Okay, so this guy leveled up. This is our system manager, so, and he is in the Sylphi system. We don't see we get plus 20 percent to the industry plus 25 percent star system so these are both plus 25 or plus 20 percent and i could min max that but i'm not sure plus 25 on star system or plus 20 percent on star system so what is this star system making right now we have 40 so if we add 25 to that that would be 65 and plus 20 percent would be less so let's go for 25 if my math's correct there i have no idea if it is but i don't want to get the pen and paper out so i'm going to go for plus 25 there so that's good and we took care of all these and i think we're good we're chilling here so yeah we're good to start my timer for my video so I'll have to I think I've been playing for about 10 minutes okay oh this is I don't like this why are you over here I don't like that at all in fact this would be a good time to why are you over here hmm I'd like to take out, or at least go try to take out, or explore over here, see what the pirates are up to before I try to um, take out. You know, I think the greens are being really annoying, and they did. They were res they were responsible for th the destruction of my scout, so I've got a little beef with them. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to resolve some movement that we have. That's a repair ship going there. We have resource abundance. I thought we already established that. That's interesting. Hmm. 20. And we have two there. And we should have two here. Or three here. Yeah. That's strange. I don't know why that popped up. But we did finish on Silphi the satellite. So you can see we our radius is much bigger. And no, I don't, let's see, because I was thinking we might be able to, because of that, we might be able to colonize, but we might need a little more, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the radius of influence just is for sensors, um, in that you can see ships coming, you know, easier, maybe? Uh, but let's go into Silphi, and what can we do here? Let's see, what's our dust looking like? Plus 43, that's excellent. Um, this is our main, this is our home system, so I'm just going to go, and this is only two turns this will cost, so I'm going to increase our defense. 
just to get that out of the way. And it's looking good. Let's look at the health. Actually, it looks like it's better to do health through here. Yes, our missile attack is um, this low health one is getting much better all the time because of our repair ship and having two repair ships will help a lot uh, with that as well. Okay, end turn. I mean, I assume they're kind of just exploring, so I might just let them for now. I mean, he can't really do anything. He doesn't... He, he, this must be a scout. He only has 25 military power and 9 movement, so it must be a scout. Okay, so let's first of all resolve our movement here. Okay, now we have our repair ship, and we're going to join that with this fleet. We're going to merge. Can I not merge? This we can't merge, huh? Is there a max? Uh, oh, command points, perhaps. Maybe that's what command points is. I.e., how many ships you can have in your um, in your fleet. Hmm. Okay. And also, uh, let me go back. I want to check for on our repair ship. The support module for repair. Plus five fleet HP. Okay, so they do have to be in the same fleet. So that's unfortunate. They can't be in the same system. Um, okay, I think that's okay for now. Um, let's let us. Okay, I think this is the turn we're gonna take. And I do actually, while I'm still remembering it, I want to rename this main. Just okay. Can't use that many characters. Okay, main attack. Oh, close enough. Okay, main at main ATT. Okay, that's a little strange. You're using very very short strings. Okay, so it has a movement of six, and I think that's a combination, or it might be the slowest ship. So our repair ship, for example, has seven, but our missile uh, missile attack ships have six. So it's probably the slow ship in your fleet is the maximum speed of your entire fleet and we have a military power of 1051 so we're a very very powerful I believe um, let me check some scores here the purple pilgrims are ahead of us in score by a little bit where everybody's pretty even except for the orange pilgrims but right now what I want to do is take our main attack fleet and go attack these pirates we are vastly vastly overpowering them. In fact, there's only one pirate ship there. So I'm going to go into manual mode. I could probably do auto here. Um, but I have a strange feeling that that would cost me some health or something. Okay. So we're arriving and what we're going to do is we're going to do a short circuit and medium range doesn't really matter. We'll do some repairing in our medium and then we'll defend against that. Might have been a better choice to uh, go for defense, but our missiles have been fired. This guy is going to suffer a horrible, horrible death. Oh boy. <laughs> you see all those missiles. And each missile, and there he goes. All right, and each missile, each ship has those missile um, modules, and they each fire a certain number per turn. Um, so, like the amount of missiles does correspond with all that. So, if you had a higher ranked missile module that sp spit out more missiles per round, you would see more more missiles there. Okay, so we did a, have our fleet commander level up. And that's great. So we're gonna look for some good. Let's go for more offense. This is our attack force. This is not a defensive force. And we do. Just want to make sure everything looks good. I don't think we lost any health at all, which is great. 
And I think now we're going to... No, we can't do anything else with that ship. And we have our defender and our other repair ship over here. Um, so let's see here. What else can we do? Okay, we finished our research for the cruiser class. So let's pick any research and then we'll go look at our cruiser class. Ah, now this is an interesting... Um, improvement here we get a warp drive which unlocks space travel without cosmic string or wormhole use now i have a feeling no other faction really is even close to getting this now i would assume also that if this means we can go to any unlock space travel okay the mess not let me read this uh, the mess, mm -hmm. independently between stars okay so we can basically go from one node to any other node so that seems pretty good and then we can colonize gas giants as well um, and I think our military is fairly well founded right now I don't think we really need to we could once we get uh, more expansion we'll be able to knock out some of the one turn ones this will turn into one turn this will turn into one turn and we're also going to need access to uh, some strategic resources eventually huh, interesting that the first level beam weapon module requires Hyperium, however the second level one doesn't. That's interesting. And neither does the third. If I'm if that is accurate, that is interesting. Okay, so let's take a look. These are all asteroid planet improvement. Baron transformation. I think I will go with this as atmospheric filtration. It's, well, it does take 11 turns. That is a lot. Let's, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. We don't, we could go core mining, but like I said, we don't have any planets that have, um, planets that have that. Let's go with core mining, actually, because this planetary exploitation, oh, it's an exploitation, not a system improvement. Let's cancel that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Another exploitation. Better. Eh, let's knock this one out. We can get a better engine. We can go faster. That'd be good. Actually, we don't really have a scout, do we? Eh, decisions, decisions. Hmm. Let's knock out some of this military stuff. I do. W I would like a better kinetic ship, which is what we're gonna do now. Okay. Uh, let me dismiss that, and we're good on our turns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new ship. It's gonna be a cruiser class, and what we're going to do is I think a balanced ship would be good. Um, so we're gonna give it two kinetic, two unstable and we shouldn't be able to do this that's interesting <laughs> I guess it lets you put it on there but we couldn't we won't be able to use it uh, I know we want some great these are, that's a very 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 good deflector for kinetic that'd be very very good and nobody uses missiles right now that I can see let's give it a power support module to increase the minimax damage at, r at the risk of less health, but the cruiser itself has a lot of health to begin with. And we could also offset that with uh, reactive holds. And let's give it, I think, yeah, we can give it more move points. Um, it's going to be a pretty expensive ship, but this is going to be like our, our dreadnought. And it's going to be good at everything. Um, but we are going to be putting it Let's leave off the engine for now, um, and let's give it some more weapons. More weapons. So we got four torpedoes, four kinetic, uh, so missile and kinetic. Let's just make it a nice five, and we'll give it some more armor. No need for shield. Let's go. Our health is very, very good, so I'm not concerned about that. And it has some military power. 
of 207. I like this one. So let's name it uh, like a Dread Knot. Sure, why not? That sounds good. And a platform for success. Game event. A greater ship tonnage means many things. Greater military strength, faster travel, and an easier way to extend the power of your empire. And we don't have any open slots to start building one, but I do want to start building one. So let's end the turn. Looks like we're going to get another hero on our next turn as well, so that'll be good. Okay. So we have a hero available. Let's take a look at him. He is an uh, adventurer and he's corporate, so he's a little bit uh, balanced for both uh, a fleet commander and a system commander. He costs 140 dust, that's not a problem. He has okay defense and star system, plus 4% military power and fleet weapons, that's pretty good. 4% damage minimax, eh, that's not all that good. Then he's got good dust and science increasers, and plus 28% on fleet defenses. So I think I'm going to throw him in a system for now. In fact, I think I will. Let's look at 27 and 6. And Way is, Way is really good. Sophia is good. Gaikon could use some help. So let's go ahead and actually let's look at <coughs> Way is content. That's okay. Gaikon. Let's go with Gaikon. This was our new guy. Assign the system. Okay. So that'll help out a little there. And we do have Hydromiel because we finished. Yep, we finished um, colonizing the planet in that last turn. We finished a lot that last turn, actually. So let's go through. In fact, we have four planets now to, to do all this on. We, do we have a lot of. We don't have a lot of industry on this system, so it would take a long time to start building these. But I do know that our main, let's go to our empire management system, uh, overview screen, and our Silphi is our main system, and it has a lot of the production. So we're going to want to build our Dreadnought there. Yeah, see, it's only going to take two turns. It does cost a lot to buy out. That's a lot. And... Um, I don't know, did I, what's the upkeep on that, does it say, uh, no I don't think it says, and I'm pretty sure that there, there is upkeep for these ships, right, there must be, let's take a look at our uh, finances a little closer, yeah, minus 11 from fleets, so, <coughs> that doesn't really seem to be a huge issue, until you start getting, you know, I, I mean, relatively speaking, we have very small fleets, but, uh, Okay, let's see here. Let's go with sustainable. No, nope. well, we're maxed out here on our population on way. Um, so let's, for now, let's do some defense. Just keep it busy for now. Not a huge concern. Actually... Seven turns for a colony ship. How much would that cost to buy out? Yeah, that's a lot. And there's not a lot of production here. But I mean, this is four turns. Yeah, let's just throw a colony ship. I'd like to just knock this one out. Okay, so Silphi Coon. Let's see. Five turns. Let's go with. Xenotourism right now to increase our dust. And on Gaikon, let's go with our satellite again. That seems like a good, uh, actually it is only an outpost right now. So let's not go with that. Uh, let's increase its production. It's got pretty good production, a lot better than Way at least. Um, well, no, um, I mean, uh, Trim? Yeah, Trim. No, wait. I thought there was we had one system that had uh, very few, but I guess not. Uh, but that's good. Uh, this is Jungle Planet, so what are these effect? Desert, Arctic, Arid, and Tundra. Yes, we do have Tundra over here. And actually, before we do that, we want to go for an ice uh, an exploitation. 
And is there a specific one for Tundra? Tundra. No, I don't think so. But I do think that this once we, if we upgrade this planetary exploitation through research, it'll apply to Tundra as well. Perhaps. We are low on science. Let's throw a science thing on there. Alright, that's good. So I think we're all set on that department. And let's send this guy over here. We should reach that in one turn. Nope. nope not one turn. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. Look around, look around. Let's resolve the movement. And we have Zakor, which we have been to before. Uh, we got slapped by a bunch of pirates over here. They definitely have a couple more ships. They only had one over here kind of peeking and seeing what he could find. But uh, I do want to find, find out where they're hiding, where the rest of them are hiding. So we completed our research on integrated structures, which is great. In fact, I want to upgrade our designs for that? No, maybe... Well, what was it in the first place? Maybe I should... Let's see here. Yes, okay, it was kinetic and it was flak defense. So we only... We have kinetic on our dreadnought. So let's upgrade the dreadnought to use those new kinetic. So this is ultra-dense slugs instead of high isotope slugs. So we're at 147 and 207. So let's make note of that. 345... So now we're 167 and 242. And I forget where we're at. Okay, 147. Okay, that is a great upgrade for not that much more cost. So let's apply that. And I'm wondering when this guy gets completed, will he have the old design or the new design? I think he'll have the old design. And if that's the case, we can just uh, retrofit him right away. All right, I think we're good. Let's continue on. Things are pretty quiet right now as we explore the galaxy. Oh, we didn't select any research. Thank you, game, for not not doing that. Support module for invasion. And we will need an, an invasion ship. Well, we don't need one, but it might be a good idea to have one. Uh, I do want to start looking at... Lava, I think it was, yes. Eleven turns and gas giant. Where was lava? Or can we already do lava? I don't know. Oh, we can do lava. We actually might be able to colonize um, those planets soon once those improvements are completed. Let's go with. I really do think we're vastly ahead of everybody in the military department, so I think. What we're going to do is, oh, I wanted to look at that planetary exploitation for Tundra. Which one has the Tundra? Well, this is a star system improvement. That's interesting. And let's see. Where was it? Where was it? Do, do, do. I'm sure it's here somewhere, and I'm sure you're seeing it, and I'm not seeing it, which is really annoying. I always hate that on Let's Plays, but it's kind of unavoidable. Yeah, I'm not sure. But actually, um, let's go for... Yeah, let's just go here. It's just one turn. I'm not really concerned right now. Okay. Swiss engine. Yeah, this guy's just kind of scouting us out, so we'll let him. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we're only going to make it here and then here. This is going to take a while to get here. Okay, so our research was completed. We got the new planetary exploitation and the new engine, which is great. And this might be good to go for a better repair module, so let's go for that. And we've completed three things. So we have a new ship. We're going to send him up here. And he is 6 movement, 
He's got 200 and 226 military power, which is awesome. He's got some kinetic and some missile, and he's got fairly good deflect. But he has a lot of HP, so that's great. Now, I'm so quiet. I think I want to crank out one more of those things. We have all the system. Actually, we can colonize this lava planet. Which would be good. We'd get this void stone, which would, uh, I mean, our approval is already great here, but we could actually maybe even move our great system commander to another system to help out there. So let's go ahead and colonize lava. That'll only take one turn. It's great. And we're building there. The trium is open. Let's see. Small ocean is nice. That's very nice. Very good anomaly. And let's see. We're making not much industry here, so it would be very costly to build ships here. So I think what we'll do is go for, let's go for, let's do hardened framing right now. It is pretty close to our borders, um, so it might be good to have that defense up there. And this guy's chugging along, and so we'll end the turn. I think what I'll do is I'll create a dreadnought attack force uh, with two dreadnoughts and a repair ship, make them here, and then go start uh, harassing some other civilizations. Friendly, friendly, and then green is probably Cold War. Tesla says enemy. Yeah, it considers them it an enemy. So we'll resolve our movement. We got our dreadnought moving up there, and our main attack fleet going over there. And the green pilgrims. Oh, what? I really don't like these guys now. They want peace, and they also want us to give a three units of titanium-70. Are you kidding me? Really? Seriously? Yes. All right. You're just prolonging your, en your inevitable destruction. All right. This one we do want because we are colonizing a lava planet, and then we'll be able to put this uh, improved exploitation there. Now we did get a new repair module, so let us go and upgrade our repair ship design. We'll get rid of that smart wrenches and we will upgrade it to, what is this called? Intelligent tools. And we're at 69, what were we at? 61, that's a great. Uh, let's see, this one has plus five and plus 20, and this one has plus 10%. Yes, that is, yes, for battle phase, and plus 2% fleet repair per turn, which is great. That's only plus 20, so. I think when you do the numbers, it's better. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that. And I don't think we can retrofit uh, while we're in not friendly territory. Uh, we took care of that. And Sylphi colonized this lava, which is great. We will start this exploitation here, and it'll automatically upgrade once we finish that research, which is awesome. And Gaikon is free. Did Gaikon just finish? Well, we might have had Gaikon off of Q for a while. Um, let's see. What do we want? Let's go for this one. Yes, that's right. Because we colonized this, and then we put its the non-baryonic collider there for the science, more science, and now for the exploit. And now we're going to go for this system improvement. Uh, we're going to get more production. And uh, we have a jungle and a tundra, and tundra gets plus one, as does uh, plus ten on the whole star system. So that's great. In the turn, as you can see, we have forty-seven more turns before we get access to another hero. So okay, lots of stuff just happened. Resource quantity, you possess at least. Which I know that. It's strange that it keeps doing that. Ooh, oh yeah, this is the Hyperion. Oh wait, that's Hyperion. Did that just appear? Oh, maybe these res maybe strategic resources only appear if you have. Hmm. I'm thinking because I don't think I remember seeing that icon, but maybe that it only appears if you have the research. Oh wait. Yeah, I think it might only appear if you have the research. Oh, wow, we do have Hyperium now. Dang. Okay, so it's actually, wow, and we have 
an abundance of it. So we get plus one science per person on this planet. So we get plus three science and we get minus 30% cost on modules using um, the Hyperion. So that's good. We can design, we can put some lasers on some ships now for medium range stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that right now. In fact, there it is right there. Okay, so it looks like luxury resources will show up, but they will be grayed out if you can't, if you don't have access to them. However, strategic resources will show up only once you have the technology researched. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, so let's finish this turn. Okay, so we have Malin over here, which has a couple planets, some titanium 70. I'm not really concerned about that since we have a lot of it anyway, but it might be a good bargaining chip for some trading. And that's the only one we can colonize. And a couple of anomalies. Mostly positive. Aurora wave seems to be very good. So let's take our attack fleet and go over here. I really could have swore there were more pirates over here. And I'm guessing this is this constellation probably ends there. It seems may it might offshoot over here, but we'll see. And did our dreadnought make it up there? I think it did, yes. And I think I'll just kind of combine all these guys together. Oops. Merge. And let's see. I think did we complete another dreadnought? No. We completed core mining, which was why we got all those Hyper all those Hyperium nodes all of a sudden. And actually, with that in mind, I think I want to start unlocking a lot of these strategic resources in fact this is a great star system improvement anyway so I'll go for that and Silphi what can we do what can we do I thought there was another Hang on one second this is a oh right this this was what we just researched it wasn't a system uh, system whatchamacallit system uh, improvement it was a planetary exploit so that's why we can't do it um so i think we'll just crank out another do do dreadnought it'll only take two turns which is great and we have a very abundant supply of dust and our people are content which is excellent i think it's because we've stopped really expanding if we get into a war i'm guessing that'll that'll stop okay so we uh took care of that we took care of that we're moving around. We're keeping an eye on the greens because they're evil. And let's see. We look good. Let's end the turn. Okay. Let's resolve our movement. Okay, I guess there weren't any other any other pirates. I really, really could have swore there were more. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay, so anyway, let's go. Okay, we have higher energy magnetics. So it reveals this new strategic resource of antimatter. And we get this new star system improvement. So let's go and also I want to look at atmospheric filtration. This would be very good for messing up some uh, the greens. So I think I'm going to go and uh, do that. That will allow us to move about a little easier. It will take 10 turns, but... We will get there, and I'm going to send this guy all the way over here. It's going to take a while. But, so we took care of that. We have antimatter identified. It looks like none of our planets have it. Let me take a look around. Or our star system. Oh, our planets, yeah. But it is here. And it is here. And it is here. Alright. And actually... I think I want to build another scout ship. Uh, actually, let's take care of this first. We have a Dreadnought 2 there. And we're going to send him up over here. And I want to create a new scout design with that new engine. Because I'd like to... We are at peace with two of those guys, so I'd like to uncover a lot of their map. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of those. Because, like I said, we're not going to be doing any... We're, we're, we're going to retreat every time. 
for that. Increases plus three on ship, plus one on fleet. All right, so I think that's about all we need. We just want it light and fast with sensors and lossless fusion pods. So that's good. And on so far, we'll start scout three. It'll only take 10 turns. I mean, uh, one turn. It's very cheap to buy out if we really need it, but we really, it'll be done next turn anyway. So that'd be useless. I'm curious what would happen. I'm guessing this is just sensors. It doesn't have anything to do with where you can colonize. But I could be wrong. And we're turning out this colony ship. It's going to be done next turn. And we can actually, we can go here. Or we could, this looks like a very, very, this would be a great system. Uh, it does have some good, a good anomaly there. It has a lot of resources, everyone per planet. And they're not too big. And uh, one moon. Yeah, we have a moon. We have it. We don't have that. Uh, the moon research. Uh, what's it called? Adaptive colonies yet. Uh, so we can't do moon res uh, moon expeditions. But that's all right. I think what we're gonna. I wish we didn't place it all the way down there. But we kind of just gave him something to do. Okay. So we did take care of that. Okay. Anything on the diplomatic front that we can take care of? Let's take a look at what we can trade. Mirka, right? What can we do? We can give them something, right? We're gonna be able to. Hmm. Eh, screw it. I think we're good for now. They don't seem to be uh, all that concerned with us. Alright, it's end of turn. Hopefully, before the end of the video, we'll get, we'll be ready for, ooh. And I think this is that warp where you can move wherever. Hmm, interesting. And this one is another scout, another scout. Let's see, let's resolve our movement. And we have an upgrade on our main attack fleet guy so I think we're gonna go for another offensive boost this is great we have a great plus 60 percent min and max damage excellent 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 and what's our fleet yeah our fleet military power is 1118 which is excellent when you compare that to a scout which has 25 so we could wipe the floor and I think we need to get a move on I really wish we were faster over here but yeah it's okay we can actually, hmm, I don't want to just take, because we'll have two Dreadnoughts, a Repair Ship, and a Defender, and it'll have some military power, but I would like to just send my scout in to kind of scout out what kind of enemies they have first. Okay, so we have our scout here. That's exactly what we want. 11 movement, that's excellent. And I'm going to send him right over here. I would like to just, you know, see what's going on. And let's actually see if we can get peace with these guys. Uh, offer peace. Offer. Nope. They don't want to be at peace with us. But, well, it was worth a shot. Let's check this. Looks good. Okay. Guy Khan needs something to do. I think it just finished. Let's see. Guy Khan just finished. Yes, that. Heavy isotope refineries for production. Industry, rather. And so it's up to plus 32, which is excellent. And can we do anything on plants? No. So let's go ahead and increase our production again. This one has a little bit more upkeep, but I'm not concerned with our dust right now. I really am not at all. And I'm also not concerned with our approval. So that's great. Uh, let's see. Way finished its colony ship. Excellent. So let's send this guy over here. Be excellent, excellent. It's going to take a little bit. Alright, let's get started on, might be a good idea, for, let's see, we'll go for more industry, and on Silphi, I'm going to go for more industry as well, even though we do have a large amount, more the more the merrier, <coughs> so let's end the turn. Purple Pilgrims want open borders. 
I do like these guys, so I'm gonna accept. Um, now, open borders. <laughs> I probably should have. Yeah, open borders is navigate freely in your territories. Okay, so I guess they, if you're at peace, you can't enter their territories. That would provoke war or something. Um, so we do. This this keeps popping up. I'm wondering why it keeps popping up. I think it might be a bug. And our system guy leveled up, which is great. And we're gonna give him three labor so we can be better at managing that system. I think we put him on Gaikon, right? Yes, we did. Excellent. On Silphi, we finished that. Excellent. Only in one turn, we get a massive increase to our uh, industry. And I'll come back to Silphi. And that's there. Let's resolve the movement. So this is our colony ship, and we have a bunch of fleets here. So we have a scout who's moving. He has a destination. We have a dreadnought. So we're going to merge these two. We can't. Yes, we can't because what we need to do is get rid of this guy. So we're going to disband. to do is we want to create and we're going to send this guy to our hangar as well just so we can get organized here what we want to do is we want to go into the hangar here and we want to take the dreadnought the repair ship and the dreadnought too and create a fleet and our command points we actually might want to look into start after we research the atmospheric filtration we might want to look into more command points because that will allow us to manage larger fleets I didn't know what command points did at first and now I understand exactly what they do it's unfortunate um, we are at Cold War with green and I really don't want to go start attacking I mean I'll send our main fleet in first and then I might send send this dreadnought fleet in to just kind of wipe wipe up as it were Okay, Silphi, what I wanted to do is I want to start thinking about invasion. Um, I want to look at our support modules for an invasion. Do we have any for invasion? No, we don't. We might want to consider getting one as well. I'm not sure how invasion works. I'm sure it's more behind the scenes than anything. But, yeah. And we do have one guy in the hangar. We have this defender in the hangar, so I'm actually gonna just scrap this guy. He's just kind of useless at this point. That'll save us some upkeep. Not much, but we won't have to look at him anymore. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. So Silphi, I was thinking about looking at uh, a new ship design and then building it here, um, but that's okay. I think what we'll do is what we might want to do is create a destroyer class with kinetic stuff and actually with laser actually let's go and let's do a balanced fast this will be our fast movers so what we're going to do is we're going to strap an engine on him right away and we're also going to strap this on him uh, actually, no, we won't do that. And we're going to strap two of each. So it's going to be kind of like a fast, balanced fighter. That's my um, that's my thinking. And we'll also strap as many and depleted armor as well. So it's an interesting ship. It's got some depleted armor to block some projectile, kinetic projectiles, which is what I'm expecting we'll encounter the most of. And it's got a mix of slugs, lasers, and missiles and it's very and it's fast i don't know if it's very fast but it's fast so um, can we not do that why can't we do that oh name so uh fast attack and create and we're going to make one of those and we have a lot a lot of production in this so we can crank these out very very f quickly and our dust is minus 18 from fleets. I think those dreadnoughts cost a lot. Okay, I think we're good. Let's end the turn. Got about 10 more minutes. So let's 
see what we can get done here. There goes the green again. Like I said, I, I really do think he has that new that movement thing, that movement upgrade. Okay, I banning. These guys really can't do anything. Um, I don't think they can invade even. Uh, what is this? Or oh, a colony ship, right? We want to send him over here. Uh, it looks like he's out of movement points. What we want to do is I'm going to split up. Uh, I'm going to do it. For the, I'm going to disband. Go into the hangar. Go into the hangar. I'm going to create one. Create one. Create one. I think I'll just throw the repair ship on one of these guys. We'll merge that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go attack here. Attack here. Oh, I got to select the thing. Okay. That's our repair ship. Oh, okay. I didn't merge them yet. All right, let's merge. Okay. So let's take them. We're going to go down here. And we're going to attack. We can't attack. No enemy fleets. There's an enemy fleet right there. What are you talking about? Well, let's see if we can do this. He might be actually in this system, maybe? What the hell? Oh, there we go. Was I selecting the wrong thing? Yeah, it must have been. And this guy... This... Scout isn't officially in our in our system, I guess. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that, and we are gonna just do an auto because we're gonna destroy him pretty handedly. And I don't want to go through the whole battle system. It's not. It's gonna be a very very quick match. Yes, okay. And we didn't, we don't get into war, which is great. And I'm just taking out their scouts just as a kind of precur precursor to our main attack. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take out the green. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Much success, hopefully. All right, Silphi finished that fast attack. Create. And it's got 10 movement, which is excellent. We're going to send him up to Gaikon, and we're going to crank out another one. I think how many? Yes, these are only one movement point, uh, uh, rather command point. I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. But it's basically one. We can control max of fi five um and I think we might want to just group up five together with each other and just send them in uh, as, you know, like I said, fast attack. Uh, can we uh, do anything else? Stream finished its thing. Whatever it was. Let's go for more. Da -da -da. Let's go for more industry. That's great. And enter. So we got a lot more influence there. Oh, and this is our scout. All right, we're going to go manual, and we're going to escape. So they do have this paladin. <laughs> if that's their best attack ship, then we're going to wipe the floor with these guys. So that's... Oh, God. Oh, that was tactics. Damn it. No. There we go. Okay, cool. I can switch it before the phase. Excellent. That's good to know. So we're arriving, and then we'll retreat, and these guys only have kinetic weapons, so we probably won't get hit all that bad, but we are just a scout. Actually, this might be painful. Nope. We are fine. We didn't lose any health. Because all they have is kinetic weapons, and they're firing them from miles, hundreds of miles away. No good. So it was a defeat, because we retreated. Oh, we lost our ship again? Why does that happen? Wait, did we? Yeah, I think we did. Well, that sucks. But we did learn a little bit in that they really don't have a lot more, a lot better. Paladin 3 even. They've, Im they've upgraded their design three times, and all they have is 67.2 uh, kinetic attack and 66 kinetic def uh, deflect. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a cakewalk. All right. Again, we're going to refuse that. They're assholes. 
And now, thanks to your upright conduct in the building of a durable peace, Pilgrims is now friendly with your empire. It was neutral. I thought we were friendly in the first place. Oh, I see. We were kind of neutral and increasing, so that's great. Um, I'm not going to do any trading right now because that'll take a little too much time. Let's resolve our movement. And if this guy's going to just chill there, that might be annoying. He does, he's not really existing in any place. Um, I'm going to leave that hit there. Take this guy up here. Let's see. What do we have here? We have Dreadnought, a fast attack, and a colony ship. Our colony ship is out of movement, but it will be going over here to populate that system, which is awesome because that system is great. And we do have... And I'm going to actually wait create another fast attack i'm gonna wait until we have four there create the fleet come up here merge it with our other fast attack and then that should be good that'll only take around five turns which excellent and i think we're good let's end the turn okay yeah see he went this green scout went from Xanad xanados here all the way up here and this is great because he just landed exactly where we want him to so we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do an auto. It's going to get creamed. Yes, we didn't. Yeah, wow. 1,194 HP damage there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I have a feeling the greens aren't very happy with us right now, but that's too, too freaking bad. And now we can... We have our colony ship here. Let's see, colony, yep. What we're going to do is, I think we'll go for Yersh first. Yes, let's go ahead and do Yersh. And we'll get an exploitation going on this Terran planet. Uh, what's the food look like? Yeah, let's do food here, just because it'll help us out in the long run. And let's see. Let's send these guys back over here. These guys are moving along. Looks good, looks good. So by now has two, and we are gonna go with another fast attack, and another fast attack. I'll just queue that up. That's great. Excellent, excellent. Things are going very well. And I know I'm only playing on normal. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not going, oh look at me, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, you know, I'm kicking everybody's ass, but you know, it's it's fun. I'm having fun learning the game like this. And I think we're getting toward the end of this video. Attitude change event, okay. So pilgrims have been informed, the green pilgrims have been informed of your overwhelming ascension. They cannot help but assume that they will be definitely outstripped, and this thought does not make them happy. They are on the right uh, uh, path of thinking there. <laughs> the AI is absolutely correct. Oh, and we actually, wow, did we actually do two at once there because we had so much production? Interesting. All right. That's great. So we have a whole fleet of these fast attackers. So we'll send them up there. And uh, we could, let's see, what's our dust? Oh, it's still great. Because we, let me take a look again. Ooh, actually, we might want to go with that. Yep, that's good. So we're only getting plus 27, but minus 21. The fleets really just aren't taking up a lot right now. Um, and let's, so let's make, we're going to make a fleet of two fast two missile and a dreadnought I think will be our next course of action um, although we could actually let's bump up our things eh. yeah let's go military we're gonna be a military force and we're gonna we're going for the military uh, victory here so let's go for a, da -da -da, a dreadnought two missile and two fast else look great we have a hero update and this was our excellent hero in Silphi. so let's see what he can do we can also get more production so i'm going to do that right away i just know right off the bat so let's resolve our movement excellent all right and we're also going to beat up uh, this is a scout ship so let's just pawn him really quick and i think 
I forgot to start the timer on my video right away, so I think it was around 10 minutes when I started the timer, but we'll check. And again, that popped up. I really do think that's a bug. Um, yeah, so things are going very, very well for us. Um, I think in the next video, we're going to continue our route towards destroying the green faction, the green pilgrim faction. And we'll probably, you know, we'll go from there. We'll see what we do. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Hope you stick around. Thanks for watching.